People out there in the view of us, I've watched this Starfield gameplay trailer a few times now. And there's something that I'm a little bit concerned about that I want to bring to your attention. I love your feedback, so please type in the comments. Get ready with those type in fingers. Yes, here's my concerns. So what I've spotted is every single time the ship lands or takes off, it seems to be a gnarly animation. Like this one on the screen here, where it's landing on this moon of Ket. So yeah, you see it fly on in and it lands. Now there's, there's something else that I'm not too keen on and that's all the smoke particle effects. They, they don't look as nice as they could. They do look a little bit janky at the moment. Hopefully they, they make those a little nicer, a little bit better. But here we go, look, animation after animation when they land. There's none inside of cockpit. I'm not seeing no low planet flying whatsoever in any of the footage. Yes, you can fly around in space, but even when Todd Howard says you can fly your ship, it turns to a cutscene of it taken off, and then it transitions, just like that, into flying in space. So I'm wondering whether there's like an in-flight space mode to the game, and then an on-planet mode, and just a cutscene between the two, either taken off or landing. A little bit like Destiny, but then again, you don't really get to fly your ship in Destiny, do you? But you get what I mean. Now, there's another thing inside of this that makes me think that there might not be any low orbital flight, and that's this part, where he's saying you can land on any planet, but look, all you're doing is moving an elliptical, and then you press land. So I'm wondering whether we access this menu from maybe the ship's console, choose on a planet, well, which planet you want to go to, or even which planet you want to scan, because I've seen the option to scan on there as well. So it does look a little bit off in a roundabout way. So do you think we're going to be able to fly in low planet atmospheres like we do in you know, No Man's Sky and then choose where we want to land and land? Or do you think it's just going to all be done through menus and there's going to be a landing and um, you know, take off animations to splice the two sort of game modes? And are you happy about that? Are you not really bothered about that? Let me know inside in the comments. It's like even in this last bit of footage here, you see him on the ground on a lot of different planets, and then you see the ship taking off from a lot of different planets, but none of them are inside the cockpit view, and none of them look like their actual gameplay, they just look like the same animation flying off from planets. I think that's kind of confirmed inside of this footage, I could be wrong. Are you fussed about it? Let me know, sound off. Because, to be honest, I'm looking at this centre console inside of the ship. You see that sort of board in the middle of the screen with all the sort of little plusy signs on it and all that sort of stuff? You know what, I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see it. But So I think even jumping from system to system, you're going to bring up this sort of console, you're going to bring up the galactic map, you're going to choose where you want to go to, select that, boom, there's going to be a little cutscene. Almost like how we jump galaxy in No Man's Sky. So yeah, one of the things that really excited me when I watched the No Man's Sky trailer all those years ago at E3 was the fact you could just get in your ship, take on off, fly up into space, have a little dogfight and fly straight back down onto a different planet and cut down through the atmosphere, land on that planet, boots on the ground and the transition from ship to foot was pretty immense. That was mind-blowing stuff. Inside of this trailer sequence, I didn't quite get that level of immersion from the trailer that we saw because there was no low orbital flight. So I don't know whether that's a deal breaker for you on this one. I don't know whether it is for me. And I'm really still excited about this because of the level of detail on the planets and the fauna. I can't wait to explore. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.